In a deeply emotional and revealing blog post, country singer and songwriter Rory Fee has broken his silence after his two eldest daughters, Heidi and Hopi, threatened legal action and accused him of neglect regarding the care of their younger sister, 10-year-old Indiana. The public dispute has drawn significant attention, prompting Faye to address the allegations for the first time after months of enduring painful accusations and online criticism. Faye explained that he had initially chosen to remain silent despite the escalating tension, out of love for his daughters, and a desire to avoid further damage to their family. Although Heidi has been posting hurtful stuff online for months, actually for two years now, I have never responded, not once. Not because I don't care or because what she and they've been saying is true and not because it doesn't hurt me, because it does. Faye shared in his blog post, clearly conveying the emotional toll this situation has taken on him. He added, the things she shared have broken my heart. They still are, but the reason I don't respond is simple. I love my kids. His decision to finally speak out comes in light of widespread media coverage and what he perceives as misinformation regarding his family. Faye expressed concern that continued public conflict would only lead to more harm, regardless of the outcome. When this mudslinging stops, readers get bored, and this story has run its course in the media. No matter who wins, we as a family will be the real losers, he wrote emphasizing the lasting damage the situation could cause to their relationships. One of the central issues in the dispute revolves around Indiana's relationship with her older sisters. Heidi and Hopi have raised concerns about Indiana's safety, leading them to involve Child Protective Services. Fee strongly denied that he has been keeping Indiana away from her sisters, clarifying that while he no longer allows overnight stays, his daughters are free to visit or speak with Indiana anytime. He explained that his decision to stop overnight visits stem from a fundamental difference in values and a refusal by his daughters to adhere to his parental wishes. They want Indy to watch the movies they want to play for her, listen to the songs they want her to hear, and be exposed to the things they want to expose her to. But Indiana is my daughter, and I know what Joey would want. Faye stated, referring to his late wife, Joey Faye, who passed away in 2016. Faye stood firm in his position, stressing that, as Indiana's father, it is his responsibility to uphold the values he believes are important in raising her. I am standing firmly on not compromising the values and principles that are important to me to raise Indy with, he wrote, pointing out that while his daughters may not agree with his parenting approach, they will understand when they have children of their own. In addition to the allegations concerning Indiana, Fee addressed accusations from his daughters that he had joined a cult, specifically defending his involvement with the Christian organization Homestead Heritage. Fee acknowledged that there have been past allegations against the group, but argued that they are largely the result of misunderstandings and frustrations from former members. What saddens me about the accusations against them the most is that no one reached out to me to ask about them or anyone else, Faye explained. He emphasized that people had relied on rumors and negative accounts found online without seeking the truth. Faye's blog post offers a window into a deeply painful and complicated family dispute as he navigates the responsibilities of parenthood, the weight of his late wife's legacy, and the public scrutiny that has followed him. Despite the hurt and challenges he faces, Faye continues to prioritize love and hopes that, in time, the pieces of their fractured family can be mended. Rory Faye is breaking his silence after his daughters threatened legal action against him and accused him of neglect. His eldest daughters, Heidi and Hopi, said they were concerned about their 10-year-old sister Indiana's safety. In a blog post, Faye explained that he hadn't spoken up before now because he loves his daughters. He doesn't want to hurt them or spread any kind of hate or mudslinging through the media. He's only responding now, given the numerous headlines surfacing, and to try to stop misinformation. He wrote, Although Heidi has been posting hurtful stuff online for months, actually for two years now, I have never responded, not once. Not because I don't care or because what she and they've been saying is true and not because it doesn't hurt me, because it does. 
The things she's shared have broken my heart. They still are. But the reason I don't respond is simple. I love my kids. He continued, I feel certain that when this muslinging stops, readers get bored and this story has run its course in the media. No matter who wins, we as a family will be the real losers and we will be left more damaged than before with still only one hope of putting the pieces back together. Love. Meanwhile, Rory Faye denied that he kept the sisters apart. He said that his daughter is still free to call them anytime and to talk. He also said he would let her sisters visit. However, Faye said he stopped letting Indiana spend the night with them. The singer also claimed that his daughters ended up calling Child Protective Services on him. He said, the answer to that is that she can, or at least she could, anytime. I just wouldn't let her spend the night with them anymore. And that is where the trouble, or at least all this worry about Indy's safety, started. Every couple of months, I used to let Indiana spend a night or two with her big sisters in Alabama, but about a year ago, I stopped allowing that mostly because they refused to respect my wishes when she was there, which I will try to explain. According to Faye, it was a difference of opinion. Faye said that his eldest daughters have different values than him. He claims they wouldn't follow his wishes with Indiana. He wrote, they want Indy to watch the movies they want to play for her, listen to the songs they want her to hear, and be exposed to the things they want to expose her to. But Indiana is my daughter, and I know what Joey would want, and I am standing firmly on not compromising the values and principles that are important to me to raise Indy with. When and if Heidi ever has her own children, she will get to make the rules for how she raises her child, and... Like it or not, I'll have to respect them if I want to spend time with them. Meanwhile, Faye expressed disappointment over claims that he joined a cult. Fee defended Homestead Heritage as a Christian organization, but he admitted that there are a few bad apples in every bunch when it comes to past allegations about the organization. He wrote, What saddens me about the accusations against them the most is that no one reached out to me to ask about them or anyone else. They just looked online, found people saying bad things that frustrated ex-members and strangers have said through the years, and ran with it as truth. Country star Roy Fee has hit out at his adult daughters after they accuse him of exposing their kid sister to what they have called an abusive cult. Fee, who in July married his daughter's school teacher, has been raising his youngest daughter, Indiana, in an agrarian Christian community tied to Homestead Heritage, which has come under fire after at least one of its members admitted to child sex abuse. In light of the allegations, Faye's oldest daughter, Haiti, 37, claimed on Instagram that her father left 10-year-old Indiana, who has Down syndrome, on, in the care of a group with a well-documented history of physical and sexual abuse of children. Indiana, who has special needs, deserves to be in a safe and stable environment where her well-being is the top priority, wrote Haiti, who had previously announced that she and her younger sister, Hoppy, 35, are pursuing legal action for their sister. But Faye denied the claims in a lengthy blog post on August 31st entitled Love Dad, writing that Indiana has never been more loved or better cared for than she is right now. The young girl was just two years old when her mother, Joey, died of cervical cancer. The older sisters have a different mother, Tamara Gilmer, Rory's first wife, to whom he was married from 1985 to 1992. In his blog, he said his eldest daughter's claims have broken his heart. I never in a million dreams would have imagined that my older girls would be doing what they're doing now, and I would be sitting here writing this blog post, the country singer wrote. But here we are. And here I sit trying to make sense of all the texts and pictures, the online articles and accusations that people have been sending me, and even more than that, the things my oldest daughter, Haiti, has been saying and doing all in the name of what I'm sure she thinks is for the good of her little sister, 